What's going on everybody? Welcome to another edition of Axe Creation. Today we're going to check out Positive Grid's new Bias desktop and how we can amp match our favorite amps. Alright, so before we get into the tone matching aspect of it, I'm going to give you a quick and brief tour through what BIOS desktop actually is for those of you unfamiliar. So it's in software plugin, it models every amp in existence essentially, and any amp to suit any genre or whatever your need may be. We have clean amps, glassy sounding amps, all vintage amps, we have nice blues amps, crunch, high gain, metal, insane. Acoustic amps, even you bass players out there are covered and you can customize a whole bunch of amps, right? And once you're in the amp, you can go in, obviously you have the front panel of the amp, all the knobs that everyone's familiar with, and then you also can go into the preamp stage of the amp, change all the tubes, all the gain stages, anything you'd like, and that runs through your entire chain, your tone stack, your power amp section of the amp, you can go in and change your tubes, and all your distortion levels, you can go in and change what kind of transformer, you got going on in the tube in that part. You obviously have amp and mic simulations here. You got a couple EQs you can throw in. And the part that we're gonna be focusing on today is the tone match. So let's get into that. So what, what I'm doing is I have a Line 6 DT50, which is a Line 6 Bogner tube amp. And I'm running that through my Torpedo Live load box. And I've recorded, and in front of that amp, I'm actually running uh, the Proton Pedals Dead Horse Overdrive, just to push it a little bit. And the amp sound I'm going for is more of a, I don't know, Billy Corgan inspired tone, playing a little E major here, so that's what's kind of going on. So let me play you a quick snippet of the single track that I recorded. <laughs> That is the my amp. That's the sound I was going for. Very, like I said, it's very relatively clean, and I'm using the overdrive to push it just a little bit. So the first step we have to do to match that tone, you know, for all of you who have all your tube amps at home and you don't want to fire them up, we can match our amps and play at headphone level or bedroom level, so we can record all through the night and not make our wives and girlfriends and sleeping babies very angry. So. The first step we have to do, we have to go in, pick a basic amp model, and here I picked the British Plexi 50 watt, and dial it in as close as possible to the sound of your amp. Um, so I did that, I went in, I changed the gain stage a little bit, I didn't go too crazy because the sound was pretty right there, and we are gonna try to match what's going on. So once I have my little amp recorded here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send that out to a bus, I'm going to come to my track with the bias plugin, and I'm going to set the input of that to the bus of my audio track. So now my guitar signal is not going in, but it is the output of the recording track that I've already done. So I'm going to go over here to the amp match, and this is already checked off, but you don't have to worry about that. I've done this already, but we're going to do it again. All right, so we're, we're set here. We're on source, and the source is we need to target bias plugin. All right, so let me just take a step back. So now I need to record my guitar. So this is this is the sound of the bias plugin. All right, it's very close to the other so you can give it a listen. Really close. So what I have to do is I have to sample the bias first. So I hit the sample button and I play. Once that's done, it takes about 20 seconds, and now we're all loaded up. So now, I go to the next one, I hit target. So now we're actually targeting the amp that we've recorded. So now, I go into my track with bias on it, 
I changed the input to the bus of the track that I recorded, so now the, this signal is going to run through bias. Okay, so I'll set that up and I'll hit sample. So now that's all out. So now we've got it. We've got the setup. So now we're going to go to. Now we're matched. You can see the levels right here. We have the yellow and the green. Those are the two amps. I'm going to come back over to my bias track. I'm going to change the input back to where my guitar is coming in. So now this is the sound of the bias that you've heard before. So now when I turn this on, now we're getting the sound of the amp match. And that, obviously we have some lines here that we can go in and we can tweak, raise the levels, and you're good to go. So now, I'm just going to do a little panning, and we'll hear what everything sounds like. We'll hear the original amp first, and then we'll hear the bias right here, and then we'll hear both of them panned left and right. So let's see how that sounds. can be amp matched with bias and brought up saved as your own custom amps so you don't have to fire up your tube amps every time you want to play and or record and just so you know you can see there's nothing on here there's no plugins there's no effects it's just bias and the amp sound I recorded no EQs or anything like that I wanted you to hear exactly what was going on all right so go check out positive grooves bias desktop it's fantastic I use it all the time and uh Share some samples with me. Until then, I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.